hello you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how I do my pre poo process I'm high key ashamed to show y'all what my hair is looking like but you know what BAM I'm about to show you so I'm starting off on some dry old dirty crusty musty hair and as y'all can see, my hair is very tangly and knotted together. This is pretty much how my hair looks after a few months. Not a few months. Wow, I sound real dirty. Well, I'm out, man. <laughs> but okay, it has been a while. I usually wait about four weeks before washing my hair. So that is why it's matted, okay? That's why I love to do pre-pooing because it gets most of the tangles and mats out just to let you know i do not comb my hair in its dry state why because um yeah if you're combing your hair while it's dry you're probably going to have unnecessary breakage so right now i'm just sectioning my hair into four sections and i always like to work from front to back um i don't know why i just like to get the front out the way so yeah So I did get several people to DM me on Instagram asking me why pre pooing is important. And I just want to say that pre pooing is important because it adds moisture into your hair. And at that point, before washing your hair, your hair really craves that extra moisture, especially if your hair is medium to high porosity, which my hair is. And I need that extra moisture. It preps your hair and your scalp for any moisture you may you may lose during shampooing because just to let you know, shampooing strips moisture of your hair. Don't ever think that, oh, I'm putting this shampoo in my hair. My hair is going to be so nice and moisturized. That is not the case. No matter how much the shampoo says it on the bottle, your hair is going to be stripped of its natural oils. So pre-pooing just prepares your hair and gives you that extra moisture. So not all of it will be stripped when you shampoo. With that being said, um, what's in my spray bottle is half rice water and then the rest is half coconut oil. As you can see that the coconut oil is kind of like hardening up because the rice water was cold. So that was kind of dumb of me, but the coconut oil is still in the water so I'm not tripping about it. And I did let this rice water sit for um, a, I think a day. So yeah, the rice water is really fermented. If you want me to do like a full video on rice water then um let me know in the comments down below so i know some people may be cringing at the fact that i did have hair grease i add hair grease on my hair um before using the spray bottle and um i just love this hair grease for when i'm about to pre-poo it's um indian hemp i will leave all of the information in the description box below but I noticed that it works well when I'm pre pooing This is the only time I use that stuff because it is heavy. It's some heaviest stuff right up there, okay? So I do not recommend using this in your hair unless your hair is like hella dry. That's why I use it as a pre poo And look at my hair, like it gives that slip that I need to be able to detangle my hair. And after I add all those products and I moisturize, moisturizers i cannot talk today what the world yes but after i add all those products and i massage it into my scalp and it's moisturized that is what i'm able to detangle and i detangle from roots to roots is it roots no what <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys i don't know what's going on with me today but from the ends to the roots, okay, that is how I detangle and I make sure my hair is wet, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Detangle when hair is wet. So I do want to mention that I only wash my hair once a month. Sometimes I can go a whole month without washing my hair and I know that may sound cringy for some people But I realize my hair grows when I just leave it alone. Let it do what it do. Stay dirty, you know 
that's just how my hair grows. So I'm only pre-pulling once a month, but I want um, you to be mindful, especially if you have low porosity hair, how many times you do this because um, it can weigh your hair down if you have low porosity hair, just saying. Um, so a great tip if you have low porosity hair, especially, is to always make sure you pre-pull with, um, with a heat on with the heat on or something like that and i will show you at the end of this video what i mean by that but that allows the moisture the moisture to really sit in your hair and allow to absorb and i do it as well even though i have medium to high porosity because i just noticed that my hair feels so much better when i actually um steam it so yes that's what i'm talking about And this is the part that I am talking about. I get a plastic, okay, this one most definitely has a hole in it, but I get a plastic bag or you can use a shower cap, whatever you know, I'm not bougie, do whatever. And I tie that around my head and I sit under a hooded dryer for like 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be that long. You can sit under there for like five minutes to 10 minutes. It doesn't matter. But as long as you're giving time for that heat to penetrate and let that moisture just absorb in your hair, open up those cuticles and you are good to go. So this is what my hair is looking like before I wash my hair and as y'all can see it looks so soft and it was soft you guys like I'm not even joking to y'all that is why I love pre pulling my hair is already soft and manageable before even washing it. Okay, so that is pretty much it with this video. I'm about to go wash my hair. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, you guys. Love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.